All right, we'll get started here. So uh, first off, um, trade for Tez. Uh, we're excited about that. Uh, we're expected for him, or we expect him to come here and help our entire team get better. Uh, we see him as a long, fast, explosive, relentless uh, defensive end that can help us both in the run and the pass game. Um, and really, I see him as a multiplier. He's going to allow uh, everyone to, to play better, our entire defensive front, our corners, our safeties. And again, hopefully, the, we talk about the ball all the time, creating turnovers and stops. Uh, so we can be better. In terms of our process, um, really it was a situation where you know you try to forecast forward. Uh, you look at the draft potential. Our guys have been doing a really good job getting that information in, uh, as well as free agency. And we felt like this was a really good opportunity to get ahead of that and get a, a top pass rusher in the building. And again, that's short term, but also for long term. Uh, we're currently working on getting a contract done now. How did you come to the decision to you know show us a two for? For Montez versus you know uh, Chase Young going for for three. Yeah, um, I'll be honest. Really didn't think Tez was available for a while, um, so that door was kind of closed and I, it was going to be kind of quiet, and then it popped back up um, in the last couple hours. Right. How, how certain are you that you can get a deal done with Sweat without using the franchise tag? Because when you spend a second, obviously it's a long term thing. Does that put you in a little bit of a tough? Situation leverage wise, uh, trying to get uh, knowing that you need to have this guy here long term. Yeah, I feel really confident that we can get a, a deal done. Right. What is the benefit of being able to negotiate with him now, um, essentially paying a second round pick to do that as opposed to waiting till March and getting involved in, in that situation? Yeah, I think it's capitalizing right now because you start to lose um, opportunities. Um, it's really hard to see, you know, it's like we talked about, like if you look at the free agent stack. Now, um, it's going to look very different by the time you get to, to that point of the year um, because there's so many different opportunities that can pop up in terms of extensions, tags, different things like that. So uh, we decided with that type of player, we want to capitalize on that now. And you got a sense that if you guys weren't the ones to trade for him yesterday, somebody else would have. Yes. But sometimes you just need you know someone uh, that can come in and, and create some disruption where now you have to slide the offensive line a certain way. You have to double team certain people. And then that starts, again, we talk about multipliers where it can open up different situations for different guys to get home. So I'm hoping that this improves that. You were aggressive again this year, same situation, second round pick. What gives you confidence that this time, this move of the trade deadline is going to work out? Yeah, it's one of those things, that, again, I try to take a lot of pride in it. But, you know, you look at things that you do, if they fail or you make mistakes, can you look back at why? and address those. And then I think the key is like sometimes you become a little bit shy to make aggressive moves as you move forward. Um, but that's just not how we're wired. So it took a lot of those things from, from that situation and kind of went through that process and said, okay, here's, here's where we may have messed up this. And then for this one, not, to, not making the same mistake and, and learn from that. Uh, we got to execute better. We got to execute better. Um, we got to continue to put guys in the right positions. We got to continue to add good players to help us get over the hump.